you're not doing business on my property, you can leave or I'll call the police and have you escorted off. Okay, am I on your property? Well, not yet. Starting tomorrow, I'm no longer just a shipping clerk. I'm chairman of the board. And it's all because of... Freaking.com so on my visit to Colorado Springs, I noticed this sign on a local business. Take a look. So I thought I'd just introduce you to the uh, most hypocritical anti-gun sign I think I've ever seen. So in case you didn't get that, the sign on the left says, no firearms or weapons permitted on this property. Violators are considered trespassers and are subject to forfeiture or arrest. Okay, that's bad enough, but right next to it is the message as follows, quote, warning, the owner of this property is armed, unquote. Now that doesn't rise to the level of something that would uh, justify lawsuits or violence or vandalism, but it does justify a little bit of shaming. And I guess I won't be getting any tattoos at this spot anytime soon. Oh, I think I'll just decide not to rob this facility because there's a sign at the door that says I'm not allowed to carry a firearm during my robbery. Said no one ever. I didn't really mean to give free advertising to the business. It's in Colorado Springs. If you think about it, in today's litigious society, if someone were to be harmed as a result of doing what that sign says, you know, disarming while entering that property, uh, you know, they could uh, they could have a, a legal case against the property owner for disarming them should something bad happen to them while they're there. Now, I don't think they'd win in court, but again, in America, anyone can sue for anything. So that's a, you know, not a great idea to have a sign like that up. Anyway, as I was uh, leaving after taking this photograph, I guess the, the neighbor, the, the neighbor business, which is a, like a bong shop, told the tattoo guy that I had taken a picture of his sign. So he came out and confronted me. Hi, how are you? Am I required to answer your questions? Who are you? Am I required to answer your questions? So what are you doing here? <clears throat> Am I required to answer your questions? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. If you're not doing business on my property, you can leave or I'll call the police and have you escorted off. Okay, am I on your property? Well, not yet. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Bear in mind the term property refers to the parking lot servicing these buildings. So under the law, we'd all be pro prohibited from even putting a firearm in our vehicles. I mean, assuming this sign is legally enforceable, we'd be prohibited from putting firearms in our vehicles and driving to the parking lot. We'd have to disarm before we even got in our cars. One thing you may have noticed about the Ridley Report since, I guess, 2012 is I have done a lot of reports from Colorado Springs, even though spending only the minority of my time there. Partly this is because Colorado, Colorado is better than New Hampshire on wiretapping laws. You don't have to be as cautious about running your camera in Colorado as you do in New Hampshire. It's one, it's one of the few areas where Colorado has more freedom than New Hampshire. But it really does open up a lot of options for a person wanting to take peaceable action against some abuse or questionable behavior. And you've seen me do many things probably over the years in the Springs that I would not have done in New Hampshire because you have to be more cautious about how you use a camera, uh, at least if it has a, a microphone, which they all do. Uh, for instance, in 2015, I uh, you know, had an incident where a private organization was making way too much noise waking the whole neighborhood up, it seemed like, on a Saturday morning. 
So I was able to safely just waltz onto the, the property of the organization and confront them with a camera and come home with a viral video. I suspect that organization will run its volume a little bit lower next time it runs an event in a residential area. I would not have done that in New Hampshire because while it does seem to be pretty safe to videotape and audio tape officials in, their, in the capacity of their duties, you would be taking your fate into your own hands if you went onto private property and did, did that with a camera. So this is just a brief window, you know, the events like this are just an, it's just an example of I'd be able to do this a lot in New Hampshire if it weren't for the wiretapping law. Gotta get rid of it. We've lost Bob Hull, the, the state rep who submitted an anti-wiretapping, a, 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 a law to repeal or at least change the, uh, the wiretapping statutes. It would be nice to have another a state rep come forward and just offer a full-blown repeal. That will free us average people up uh, to more fully defend ourselves with cameras against a questionable behavior. We'll need the police less. Uh, the more peaceable stuff we're allowed to do. My body, my property. You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keen's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.